What's going on, everybody? This is going to be the inaugural episode of Biker Bible Reading. Uh, I go to a Bible study every Monday night, and we uh, study a chapter of the Bible, usually a chapter at a time. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it every week, but I'm going to do it frequently, is I'm going to read the Bible on my motorcycle to all you out there who want to hear what the Lord has to say in His Word. Um, I'm going to do it in different locations. When it gets warmer, it'll be nicer. That way I can ride farther without dying of hypothermia and other cold-related disease. But anyway, to get things started before it gets dark, um, this past week we were in James chapter 2, uh, which is 27 verses. I'm going to be reading out of the, King, the New King James Version of the Bible. So... Here we go. Verse 1. My brethren, do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with partiality. For if there should come into your assembly a man with gold rings in fine apparel, and there should also come in a poor man in filthy clothes, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and you say to him, you sit here in a good place, and you say to the poor man, You stand there, or sit here at my footstool. Have you not shown partiality among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brethren, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. Do not the rich oppress you and drag you into the courts? Verse 7, by the way. Do they not blaspheme that noble name by which you were called? Verse 8, I'm going to let this truck pass. If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. Verse 10, for whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point, he is guilty of all. For he who said, do not commit adultery, and said, do not murder. Now, if you do not commit adultery, but you do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so do as those who will be judged by the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. And Judge Judy. <clears throat> Verse 14. What does it profit, my brethren, if you, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, Verse 16. And not one of you says to them, Depart in peace. Be warned, be warmed and filled. But you do not give them the things which are needed for the body. What does it profit? Here goes another car. Verse 17. Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works, and by works faith was made perfect? Verse 23. Also, LeBron James' number. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham, believe God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Friend of God, that, that just sounds awesome. Uh, verse 24, you see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rahab the harlot, the harlot, car coming, I don't I don't even know if the vehicles messed this recording up. Likewise, was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works 
when she received the messengers and sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Okay, so it's 26 verses, not 27. Um, so that's James chapter 2. It's basically about um, showing partiality and about how faith without works is dead. Um, go study James chapter 2 for yourself. Uh, meditate on the words. Uh, think about what James is saying. Um, get into it. Read it. Check it out. I hope it blesses you. I hope you learn from it. I hope you grow closer to God from it. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. And then uh, next biker Bible reading. Rock on.